you know, people call them smart TVs, but they're really spy TVs. Internet privacy expert Claire Gartland's talking about smart TVs made by Vizio, which just agreed to pay two and a half million to settle federal and state allegations that they broke consumer laws. Jersey's attorney general says residents enjoying television in the privacy of their own homes had no idea that every show they watched, every movie they rented, every commercial they muted was being secretly tracked by the defendants who then exploited that personal information for corporate profit. Investigators claimed Vizio's complex settings made it almost impossible to opt out. Vizio was really the one that was tracking you unless you said stop. Most of the other companies require a user to consent to that first. Well, I personally own a Vizio TV and until the FTC reported on it, I had no idea that my TV was recording my viewing habits and I'm a privacy advocate. Cybersecurity expert Jennifer Lynch says Vizio sold the information, including zip codes and shopping preferences, to third-party data collectors. And all of a sudden, there's a there's a picture out there about you that marketers and insurers can use to potentially discriminate against you on the basis of factors that you have no control over. Vizio insists it never paired viewing data with personally identifiable information, such as name or contact information, and says the FTC has made it clear that all smart TV makers should get people's consent before collecting and sharing television viewing information, and Vizio's now leading the way. Vizio also agreed to delete all the data it had mined. These smart devices are like Trojan horses. They are sitting inside our living rooms. They are sitting inside our, um, you know, on our desktops and gathering all this information. Many consumers realize Internet-connected devices like Alexa communicate their information. Websites track your shopping habits. Look for something like a silver bracelet on Amazon, and jewelry ads will follow you, perhaps pop up on Facebook. Series a link straight to Apple via your iPhone, and mobile apps ping your location, all at the price of privacy. We are willingly giving up our privacy for convenience, for mobility, you know, we have all these mobile apps and we are walking around and we want everything to be available on our, um, you know, uh, in our hands, uh, wherever we go. Experts warn even your open laptop can compromise privacy. Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg covers his laptop camera with tape. So does Gartland. I don't think it's, you know, at all crazy. There's also been stories of, you know, technologically sophisticated ex-boyfriend hacking into, you know, his ex-girlfriend's computer to turn on turn on the laptop camera. Uh, so I don't think that that's, um, you know, at all paranoid. Internet privacy experts say they're concerned the FTC won't be as vigilant under the new administration. New Jersey's consumer fraud law is powerful, but it's only as good as the office that enforces it. In the newsroom, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.